I think back on the African-American people in America. I think how that they were taken against their wills, put in the belly of ships, brought over here, beat, cussed. Many of them died in the guts of those ships, thrown overboard. They were pulled from families over there. You ain't never heard a gut-wrenching song you hear a black person sing one of those old black Negro spirituals. Nobody knows. I can't sing it like that, see, because I hadn't experienced what they be. When you've experienced hell, it comes out of the voice. I say when you experience hell, it comes out of the voice. If you're one of those people that you got problem with black people or whatever, you better shut your mouth because they're God's people. You better hear what I'm saying to you. You better shut your, you better shut your white mouth. You better shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. I know some of you is raised in the deep south and you is raised by prejudiced people and bigoted people. You better get that out of your system. You better get it out of your system. It'll cause you to suffer right along with those masters. It'll cause you to suffer right along with them. These are God's people. And I know that there's wicked and white races and wicked and black races and all that. I'm not justifying none of that stuff. I'm just saying God knows what happened to the black race. He knows how they wound up over here. And God is going to re reimburse the black people for all their trouble and all their labor. You watch what I tell you. I think he said it all. <laughs>